Today we're knitting up a fancy Celtic cable pattern. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and thank you for joining me here on Studio Knit. For all of my cable loving knitting friends here, this gorgeous interlocking design, it's a fun project to knit up for St. Patrick's Day and all year round. If you enjoyed knitting up my recent heart cable pattern or my classic Celtic cable braid, then this pattern will also be really fun taking your knitting up a notch. The classic Celtic cable has a 16 row repeat, and I'm calling this version a fancy Celtic cable because it consists of a total of 32 rows repeating for an even more intricate and detailed design. But you're going to love that we are only using four different cable stitches, so the actual knitting itself is really quite simple. And here is how the cable pattern looks on the right side of the work, and this is what it looks like on the wrong. For our materials, use any size yarn and corresponding knitting needles that you choose. Of course, you also wanna have scissors and a tapestry needle on hand and a cable needle. I'm just using a double pointed needle that I painted pink that helps you differentiate my regular knitting needles from the cable needle in this video. And when I knit it up with worsted weighted yarn and size seven needles, I just wanna show you the size I got was about five inches in width and the 32 row repeat is about four and a half inches long and then when I went a little bit bigger I used bulky weight yarn with size 10 knitting needles and the width is about six six and a half inches and the length for the 32 row repeat is about six inches and now it's time to pull out the pattern. So I have it directly on my website, totally for free. You can just follow along the instructions on my website page. If you would like a PDF printout of um, the written instructions and the chart, then that's available exclusively to my email list. And that is totally free to sign up. I have all the links you need down in the description below. It's also great to pin this project to Pinterest to save for later. And links for everything you need to know are in the description below. If you're excited to knit up this fancy Celtic cable pattern, please like up this video. It really helps me out. And if you are not a studio knitter yet, all it takes is hitting subscribe here on YouTube. So let's knit it up. We are going to begin with our beloved slip knot. And I'm using the long tail cast on method here, just keeping it simple. And with the pattern, we are casting on 32 stitches. Now I'm just going to give you an overview of the cable stitches, because if I went row by row, this would be guaranteed the most tedious <laughs> uh, knitting video in the world. So I'm just gonna give you an overview here. We have our 32 stitches on our needle. I'm choosing to begin with two rows of the garter stitch just to have a little border. You might wanna have a thicker border. So knitting the garter stitch, that's just the knit stitch for however many rows you'd like to begin, that is totally up to you. So let's take a look at those four cable stitches together. I will go through them in detail with you. So after doing our knits and purls, the first cable stitch is C4B. I have that coated in sort of a hot pink color here for you. It just helps my eye um, understand the pattern a lot easier. I hope it's helpful to you too. So C4B, we are slipping two stitches onto our cable needle and then we are holding it back and that means the cable needle is going to be held behind our two knitting needles now we are going to totally ignore that cable needle and first knit two stitches from our main knitting needle And then we take our cable needle and we knit those two stitches directly from the cable needle. So 
Now the next one we come upon is C4F, and that is cable for front. So we're slipping two stitches onto our cable needle, and this time we're holding it in the front of our work. And we begin by knitting two stitches from our main knitting needle, totally ignoring that cable needle that we're holding in the front. And after knitting these two stitches up, then it's time to take the stitches from our cable needle right here in the front. And sometimes it's a little bit of a stretch to kind of pull it around and just knit two stitches from the cable needle. And let's take a moment to admire our work here. Just doing these two cable stitches, you can see that already the design is starting to shape up or giving us a little bit of dimension to our work. So let's take a moment to look at those even rows. You actually are able to take your eyes off the pattern on all your even rows because you're just knitting the knits and purling the purls. If that makes sense to you, great. If not, just go ahead and everything's written out on the pattern. So here are obviously two knit stitches for me. Let's look at the next two. You can see the little bumps right here. That indicates to me that I purl those two stitches. And hopefully this will sort of make the pattern go a little bit faster for you on the even rows because it's just knits and purls. And by looking at your work, you're able to figure out what to do next. And here's how our pattern is shaping up already after just knitting four rows of the cable pattern. So let's check out these last two cable stitches. The first one we're encountering on row five, and that's in green, it's CL3F. We're slipping to, to the front of our work. And then we begin by purling one off of our main knitting needle. So our yarn is in the front. We purl that one stitch off of our main knitting needle. And then we bring our yarn around to the back because from our cable needle, we are going to be knitting those two stitches. So right here, we're just knitting one and then we're knitting two off the cable. And that is our CL3F last one. And this is coated in yellow. It's CR3B and that is cable right three to the back. So we're taking our cable needle and this time we're just slipping one stitch and we're going to hold it to the back. And then we are knitting two stitches from our main needle right here, ignoring that cable needle behind us. And it sort of flops around on me sometimes. And then we take our cable needle and we're going to be purling that last stitch. So we need to bring our yarn around to the front of our working needle. And it's a bit of a stretch again to go ahead and purl that stitch right there off the cable needle. So find some quiet time for yourself and patiently knit the pattern row by row. You will love seeing this fancy Celtic cable design emerge as you knit it up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!